Welcome, and this is the Pear King. Today, I got more tips and tricks on fishing planet, and what we're focusing on are the blue cats at Quanskin Lake, Louisiana. So, just to jump and dive right in here, just want to go over a few things on the screen. So, best times to catch these blue cats, I noticed, is going to be a mostly cloudy day, just like this, with the partly sunny, with some good, good temp in the river. Along with that, between 5 and 9, pretty good fishing. Between 11 and 1, not so good. Between 3 and 9, really good going into the night. And you hit that night and you got a good old spike. All right. Also with these fish, make sure you grab that advanced license. Uh, it's going to be super important to have. Uh, just because there's no restrictions on night or the size, meaning the trophies. The thing I want to touch base on is the inventory. Uh, reason being why is because I'm using a Phoenix 1410 to do a lot of my catching. It's a 22 pound pole, not the biggest pole. I'm pulling in 47 pound cats with it, blue cats, and it's working out pretty well. It is a struggle, but you can do it. Along with that, 24.2 pound reel, we're using 30 pound line. We got, what is this? Uh, sorry, Barbara's hook, uh, aught 7, 7 aught along with some duck muscle meat which I feel they like the most. Now on that note, if you run out of bait while you're catching these guys, you can come into bait and go ahead and grab some crawfish and some medium cut bait. I haven't tried the blood, the shiners work, so these three work pretty good. All right. Also I'm using a 14 pound feeder pole, the Laker Pro 13-2. Along with that, we have a Bremer 5000, 14 pound max drag, real weight. Uh, I use mono line anymore, unless I'm fishing for trout, then I'll use floral, but that's about it. All right. Along with that, I'm using 20 pound braided line, a 19.8 pound mono leader, a 4 aught hook with some duck muscle. I also have what I call catfish bait, which I'm actually not going to use on, uh, I'll use it. All right, what I'm using is Crimson Cold and Grand Fish Feeder. This is what I'm using combined. 10 of this, five of this, mix it in, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It gets me some pretty good cats and I'm getting pretty good bites, all right? But instead of using two types of the same bait on here, we're gonna run with leeches, see how they do compared to the duck. And I wanna show you this really quick. All right, here is a 20 pound bringing in $666. Here is a 22 pound with $719. And then here is another one that is 25 pounds at 820. And we got the blue catfish at 40 pounds at $1,289. This is non-premium amounts. So to me, it's really good. You're getting good quality XP, good quality money. And if you have premium, it's going to be even better. All right, so let's jump into it really quick. We're gonna go to the swampy open space. I like it here because you can do multiple different types of fishing in this one area. So the best way to find these blue cats I noticed is to pull up your map and look for these deep spots. The deep spots are really gonna cover the terrain and be the area to grab them. As you see over here, I caught a 47 pounder on a really sunny day, early morning, it was beautiful, spectacular, good money and everything. Over here, I caught a trophy channel cat at night off large cut bait, 12 pounds. Was really happy with it. Uh, you know, I was going for blues, but I got trophy channel out of that area on this stream. That test is what's better, leeches or duck muscle. Uh, if you want my opinion, I'm going to say duck muscle. Some people like leeches. I think if you're going to use feeder, definitely get some bait to go on that feeder. So it's about 9.5 feet, almost 10 feet deep, which is good. It's where we want it at. Cast that guy out. But it looks like that Phoenix 1410 is going to get our first bite today.
Boom. And the battle begins. So here we go. Now if you're having issues pulling these guys in, gently pull them up to the left or right hand corner. And that's going to kind of just pull those suckers right on in. As you can see, it's working pretty well. But this is what I recommend to do. Hopefully we don't get two bites. I really don't want to be battling two. Oh, we are. So I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible without losing him. Alright, come on. Come on, big boy. There we go. And it's really, really pulling. They're really big cats, guys. So that's why I recommend... Trying to get yourself like a 36 pounder. Uh, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And then, oh, we lost that bait. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I have a ton of leashes. Not a big deal. To me, I'd rather catch this guy. Because this guy right here is going to be pretty decent size, to be honest. Man, he is just tugging. And this is why I come here at Quanskin to catch the blue cats. Is because they tug good. They're a good fight. You also got the alligator guards out here. But these guys are money. Look at that. Trophy blue catfish. 41 pounds off a 22 pound pull. Guys, I just showed you can be done. Just hit your reels right. Hit your line right. It's going to work in your favor every time. Starting to get some bites here. If you can't hear it. Look at that. Bobber's moving. So we definitely got a cat on the line. And check it out, reel it in. All right. Oh, this is a big boy. Now, what I like to do when I'm reeling in these big boys with such light rods is go off up into the corner here and just pull them up to the side. Seems to really work well if you're using lightweight tackle. And when I mean lightweight, by no means are these rods light, but if you're catching fish like this, they definitely are. Far, I'm going to say, oops, come on. I just want to move forward. There we go. Pull it in, 27 pounder. I really do think the duck muscle is the ideal bite. All right, here we go. This is gonna be the hard pull to really get the bite, to really pull it in, either way. This is a 14 pound pull with a 14 pound reel using 20 pound line. So let's see how long this takes us to get it in. Just be really gentle on that tug. Because you tug too hard, you're going to rip it out of the face. I do a little bit of up motion. Drag the cat upwards. And then I drag him off to the side. He's already dragging us back out, so we want to we want to regain ground. So that's where I'm going to do some hard tugs, just to lead him in the correct direction we want him to come in. All right, so he's right here. We got him pretty much cornered. He's not going to go much anywhere else. He's going to keep kind of pulling him up to the surface. All right, he had to surface on that one. There we go. All right, off to the sides now. Do we get him in? We need to walk to him just because he's right here, guys. And the closer we can be to him, the better at this point.
I like fighting fish on really weak poles just because it gives you, I don't know, something about it. And not only does it give you better XP because you you drug a fish in with a really weak pole. Sorry for the vast movements, but I'm trying to get him back here without like him taking me out again. Because he's changing his position on me. Boom, there we go. All right. And that was a 28 pound catfish, so double my actual weight for the pole and we brought it in. I've caught 33 pounds off of this pole. So really, it can be done. You can do this on pretty much, I mean, any pole. That's at least a range from 14 to 36 pounds. Recommend getting yourself a 36 pound pole, but like I said, it can be done. So go out there, if you're a beginner, catch those blue cats, get your bait, get your gear, get your game on. So. I just want to say thank you for tuning in today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and the like as well. Also, for additional content and gameplay, come and follow me on Twitch. I'm, and that's Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Look forward to seeing you there. Uh, if I forgot anything or you have any questions, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.